Here's a little update on the, the banded funky jungle bell albino. He's up to 36 grams right now, eating super worms. This gecko is amazing. He really is. Um, he's been off and on uh, again for sale. And then I take him and I'm like, I'm going to hold him back. Well, I'm going to have him up for sale again here. And uh, I took some uh, pictures like a couple weeks ago. You know, and said this guy was available again. My camera sucks. And right now I'm shooting here in natural light with my 1080p webcam. And it gets a lot better uh, quality. Shows you what he really looks like. And he's, uh, you might be confused by the whole banded funky jungle uh, idea of a uh, jungle being banded. Well, <clears throat> the thing is, uh, I shouldn't have probably named them Funky Jungles, maybe just called them Funky something or other, but uh, that was the name they got, and basically, you know, what you get with them is a really crazy patterns, and with the crazy patterns, you see a lot of reduction in the uh, amount of pattern, and that's really how it gets crazy, because it's so reduced, it has, like, more room to make crazy designs and stuff. And um, so, yeah, so this is a banded version of the Funky Jungle. You can see how reduced he is and how the bands are obviously not normal bands. He's got this awesome dorsal stripe. Let's try to get him in a better. There, that's better. Yeah, and um, he is from uh, Mr. Moon. Mr. Moon is the original funky jungle gecko that I used for breeding. He himself isn't a funky jungle. He's a funky jungle sibling, um, but, you know, has produced all the, uh, not all the funky jungles I ever made, but the original ones I made after they popped up. You know, I sold two of them without even realizing what I had, because that was my first year breeding, and but then, yeah, you know, I bred Mr. Moon the next year and whatever. That's when all the funky jungles started coming out. And I noticed I had something. And uh, so, yeah, that's his dad, Mr. Moon. Mr. Moon was a Max Snowhead Blizzard. Um, and his mom was a white and yellow bell. 50% uh, head eclipse. So that would make this guy 50% head blizzard and 25% head eclipse. Um, I'll be breeding the mom to uh, a head eclipse uh, next year, which is coming pretty soon. So within within six months, I'll know for sure if she's uh, head eclipse or not. And then obviously I would let you know, it, unless you prove this guy out before then, because you know he could definitely be breeding in less than six months. He's thirty six grams now. And, uh, yeah, just a really awesome gecko, very unique. Uh, I've only hatched, like, two, maybe three, if I remember correctly, uh, banded funky jungles. And I've never bred them, so I don't know if you're going to get, you could make more bandits than maybe banded funky jungles like this, which you could, you know, you could line breed then to, uh, have your own lavender type bell project. Uh, I don't really go by the whole lavender thing. I mean, obviously it's the color in between the banding that doesn't get color on it. And sure, it looks purpley and lavender-ish, but it's just white as far as I'm concerned. But you call it whatever you want. But he'd be a good, obviously a good candidate for a reduced banded uh, project, as are really any funky jungles for that matter. It's just, I don't hatch many of these banded ones, so I don't know how common they are to hatch. But maybe you can make them more frequently with this guy if you're into that kind of thing. But he'll also make the crazy pattern funky jungles. He is a funky jungle. He's not a funky jungle sibling. He's got that awesome dorsal stripe in there. Really cool.
it's to be a very impressive gecko when it's he's full grown. Even the tail banding is reduced. You see that only has what one, two, three, four, five tail bands. Really nice gecko. Anybody that gets them is going to be lucky and to have them because I've already you know taken them off the market a couple of times and if he doesn't sell before he grows more I will most likely not be putting him up for sale again uh, alright and uh, check out my Facebook page I'll put a link to it in the description uh, you can contact me there or you can contact me at ubelferids at gmail.com that's ubelferids at gmail.com and uh, I'll put the price uh, in the description too and uh, that'll include shipping like always my geckos do and I don't uh, I don't price them like I'm including the shipping so it's not like I have a set price in mind for the gecko and then I add the shipping into it so alright like you're getting a deal now because I say shipping included but no I, I price my geckos affordably and uh, shipping is usually around fifty dollars usually always at least fifty and rarely ever less so you are getting a pretty good deal when I say shipping included and I and you see the price I'm asking so this gecko is worth a lot more than what I'm asking for. Alright, thanks.